What is going on, dudes? Welcome to another Unknown Creation. And tonight, we don't really have as much of a plan as we thought, <laughs> but we're going to make it work. It's going to be fine. Um, tonight, Some of the best ideas are um, on a whim. Exactly. I was just going to say, on a whim. Yeah, perfectly. So, uh, tonight, uh, Alex is not drinking a beer he is drinking sleepy time tea <laughs> out of a star wars mug which is fitting for the show uh i am drinking a beer and i'm drinking probably my favorite ipa uh, of all time and i just logged it on untapped um and it's pernicious pernicious i, I don't know exactly how to, but it's wicked weed who we all know just recently got bought out by anheuser-busch but so far, it's still good. I know uh, they've been bought out a couple years now. I think it's been about two years now, but it's still good. It's still still really good. Uh, and as soon as I see it, I will have it. Mm -hmm. the, the thing I hope for, honestly, is that everything stays the same. It's just their distribution gets you know taken over by something that's a little more... I don't know. They get their distribution channels already great, Anheuser. So mm -hmm. uh, that would be what I hope for. So... Um. Yeah. Well, tell us about your little, <laughs> your or not your little your your sleepy time tea. <laughs> so I got sleepy time extra sleepy. So if I pass out, just end the show without me. And um, but all it is is a sleepy time with honey, and a um, I think they're called uh, gut shots, which is um, vinegar, uh, ginger, and something else. But it's pretty good. And it's good for the throat. I uh so I I recently started drinking tea ish. Recently ish mm -hmm. and drinking tea ish. Like I don't drink like loose leaf tea. I'm not like a tea connoisseur as much as I like beer. But I I do enjoy it, you know, because I've had to cut out things. Like I don't drink I don't drink IPAs much. Like if I drink a mm -hmm. beer it's it's really for the show and um, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I have to cut out a lot of stuff. Like tonight we, we, we went out, we, we had pizza and I'm like, you know, I have to have a white pizza or if I get pizza, you mm -hmm. know, I've, I've had to change a lot and, and, uh, drinks are where I'm, I'm getting to now. Cause before it's like, I'll change some food, but like, I've always, I've always said like, I really want to keep beer. I like beer. And, um, and then I have to cut it out. I kind of, kind of limited it, make sure I'm not eating bad and drinking IPAs on the same day. You know, if I do one or the other. Um, just for my heartburn or whatever. But so I've started drinking tea to cut out um, coffee in the mornings, mm -hmm. and and I haven't started. I, I I switched. I I do I chew I chew my my gum a little more. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I do enjoy tea. I do I do very much enjoy tea. And and sleepy time tea is not one that I've seen. You know when I'm trying to start my morning. Are you morning. going to get iced tea in the morning or is it going to be hot tea? I drink a, yeah, hot tea usually when I do it. Yeah. Black uh, or with sugar? Oh, no black. No, no sugar. No sugar in anything. I don't drink coffee with sugar. Black coffee, dark roast black coffee when I drink it. Let me, let me ask you this. Can you chew coffee grinds? I, I don't know. What, why? What? I mean, like, if you can drink straight coffee, then I believe that you have the ability to just <laughs> eat it. It's like some sort so of... So why, why run it through a filter? I just... It's just if you want to mouth. drink it, you don't want to eat it. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it well, would probably eliminate... You would get all the caffeine probably plus some. <laughs> Well, see, the coffee that mm. I usually drink, and I, I'll still drink it every so often. It's just like I said, it's got to be limited, and it's like, all right, if I'm drinking coffee, maybe no beer for a, lot, a long time, or definitely nothing mm. acidic throughout the day, eating-wise. Um, but if I drink a coffee, we drink, uh, you know, we grind our own, you know, we, we grind our own beans, and um, I, like, I like dark roast. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and black. Bitter, 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 bitter. I yeah. like bitter. And black only, black coffee for sure. Like I don't want a single packet of sugar or a single serving of sugar, whatever it's actually quantified as, and and I don't want uh, um, no hint of any sort of creamer in it. I just don't like it at all. I love creamer. 
Yeah. Uh, right, right. Yeah. So we have um, it's like a Dove chocolate creamer. Uh huh. Okay. And I'll never, I'll never go back. <laughs> See, I don't, yeah, no, man, I, I don't drink coffee. Like, I think, like, if you want coffee, like, you know, it's kind of like a steak. You, do you put steak sauce on your steak? Not if it's good. <laughs> exactly. There you go. That's my, that's my line. Like, you, know, you, run, you run through McDonald's and you get some coffee. Like, yeah, maybe load it up with some sugar and creamer. But you're going to buy some nice coffee grounds, ground or uh, beans and actually grind it up yourself. Then, you know, maybe don't, don't ruin it with some, with some creamer or anything. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's what I like. So that going to the tea, I drink tea completely straight, plain. And uh, in the mornings, though, I prefer a green tea. Some black teas, uh, they may have more caffeine, but I, I just prefer personally a green tea. Mm-hmm. But again, I don't do like I'm not like a real tea drinker. I, I don't do like loose leaf tea. I do tea bags and and and, you know, quick hot water funny that we're water. talking about teas oh who was the guy i was ta- uh, listening to um he talked about mushroom tea hmm. uh it's a, it doesn't have the um um caffeine content but it's supposed to be good for you hmm. yeah for uh, mushroom tea or mushroom coffee Mushroom coffee. It might be just a coffee. Oh, there's Irish mushroom tea. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if it's uh, like ground up different. Yeah, there's mushroom tea by Amazon. But it's supposed to be. Um, uh, actually, when I heard about it, I thought about you. Oh yeah. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and because uh, it's supposed to be um, less caffeine and uh, pretty good for you. You get stuff back in. Has to taste like garbage. It's, <laughs> you're, you're literally I, teeing up fungus. Yeah, I don't like mushrooms. Like I pick them out of things. I'm just not a mushroom fan. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, we 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 ended last week talking about beer, wanting to brew beer. You know that's still in the works. Mm-hmm. Let's move to. Um, let's move right to. Uh, oh man, I forget my scene numbers here. Uh, one. Two, three, four. Uh, let's move right here to this. I sent you that link of the 20, 23 yeah. best Memorial Day sales. So this is a good link. I'll post this in um, in chat right now, and then uh, you know if you're on YouTube later, just try to get this right here. <laughs> Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> Never mind. It's just it's a Wired.com story and it's best Memorial Day sales 2019. Uh, Wired.com, they're they're great. You know they're great. Wired does a lot of great stuff. It's great articles for everything. So, anyways, this is the 23 best Memorial Day sales uh, on tech and gaming, which is awesome. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what we like. And so you, know, you you scroll, you start off. You got like 80 bucks off an iPad, uh, 250 bucks off of an iPad. I, or MacBook and blah 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 blah. You want to keep going? You know PC sales. There's some good ones here. I've seen better than the ones that are listed right here. It says there's more if you actually individually click on. Alienware's got a good sale. Um, Dell, uh, so obviously, and then Lenovo might have a good one. HP's got a good one, I think. But so you can click on each individual ones. Um, oh, 65 inch TV on sale. Yeah, there's there's some good ones. There 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 really is. Um, um sorry i just uh changed over so you can see what i'm looking at since you can't see my webcam <laughs> um so there's uh yes yeah, so, so there's six there's tvs and then you scroll down there's some home appliances tech blah 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 good stuff so we, we we primarily like just you and i naturally gravitate to the games like especially you know mm-hmm. doing the show we like games so so i was scrolling down here earlier and actually while while like in our like pre you know what would that be called like pre-production meeting i guess <laughs> just sure. talking about what we we're doing before we went live um just scrolling down through here uh, i think you you stepped away for a second and i started reading this gaming section I'm like yeah cool switch you know i really would like a switch i think it'd be fun i like the nintendo games um i'm struggling right now to find some games that i like you know want to just sit down and enjoy playing and i think a switch would be a perfect thing for me to get 
Um, still not going to get it. I just think it would be. And then you see, you know, a good deal on a, a Microsoft uh, Xbox One X PUBG uh, bundle for 300 bucks. You know, that's 200 bucks off. That's a good deal. The Sony PlayStation. Then I scroll down. Then I saw this. And that is, it's uh, The Sims 4 is free until May 28th, which is, uh, well, um, we're now the 26th. When we started, or at least when we were <laughs> talking about this, it was the 25th. So two more days, um, and this is going to be free until May 28th, uh, 2019. And, um, and you don't get any of the expansions or anything. You just get the base game at zero cost, which... I think zero cost has to be the ultimate deal of the week, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like the only other, week, other thing we can do is find where somebody has to pay you to take it. Pay you to take it, yeah. You make money <laughs> taking something, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, there's some great deals all over here. Memorial Day weekend's a great place for deals. And, and honestly, you don't need us to show you a deal of the week. You just search Memorial Day sales, and you're just going to get a ton of shit. But... Sims 4 is free, and that's not one that I've seen. I've seen a bunch of them until just now. It took me by surprise. So while you were gone, I clicked on this link right here, went right into my Origin account, and just added it to my thing because it's The Sims 4. I've had The Sims 3. It's pretty good. You know, I've played it. The Sims 4 is good. They're, they're different. Like, Sims 4 is very cartoonish, um, Sims 3, because The Sims 4 was out when I bought Sims 3, I think, and Sims 3 is, like, a little more. They're different. They're different games. You know, it's, it's what you like, preference, but Sims 4 for free. Hell yeah, why not, right? So then I activate it while you're gone. Told you about it when you got back. You I then went, went in, got into your origin account, <laughs> and, and added it to yours because you can't pass it up. It's free. You might as well just add it to your thing. If you never play it, who cares? It's still free. <laughs> yeah. And it's only free until tomorrow, and it's a $40 game. So it is still a $40 game, um, but it's free. It's free right now, so get it. Oh, there's some other good ones here though. Uh, Smash Brothers, which is an awesome game. It's only ten bucks off though. It's a really fun game. It's still fifty bucks. Um, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is never played it. Me neither. It's it's twenty five dollars off. It's thirty three dollars. It's twenty five dollars. Thirty thirty five thirty five bucks off. And there's some more here too. So, um, and by the way, that is that's a grill. It's the BioLite oh, fire nice. pit. So let, let me go to uh, back to my screen here. So on this page, we were looking through it earlier, and we were like, what is this? Don't know. I'm not sure what this is. And then uh, um, he just he, Alex just found out that this is the BioLite. So I'm guessing it's one of these three options here. Could be could be the same design for all three. I don't know. Just different attachments. I don't know. Oh, it says right there, the picture, BioLite. I didn't even see that. Yep. So it's one of these three options. Not sure what it is, but that is a pretty cool looking grill. I don't know. I don't know much about it. It's pretty I don't know cheap. If it's like a travel campfire. Yeah, it looks it's small, right? It looks small. It has to be something small. It's only two hundred bucks too. Two hundred two hundred and eighty five is the biggest one. And it's a bundle. So this is an all-in-one fire kit that includes smokeless fire pit. USB charging solar panel <laughs> and lighting <laughs> system. Do you see that one on the middle one? Like oh, the oh energy my. bundle. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. It comes, it contains a stove, a USB charging solar panel and lighting system. <laughs> and by the way. <laughs> who needs to charge their phone but everybody <laughs> yeah oh man my phone's going dead and i just started cooking what am i gonna do plug it into my grill that's what i do <laughs> oh i don't God. do that i don't own this grill i don't know if it's good i can't say for sure if this is gonna be good for anybody or not but um yeah it's well, worth it's, a try it's there if you want to try it i would yeah the energy i oh, mean solar panels i don't i, don't, I just, <clears throat> yeah, so you'll want to keep your device you I, charged, and that's why it comes with this. <laughs> the difference between you, I, you and I is I look at this, and I'm like, oh, that's that's interesting. You look at it, and you're like, camping, oh, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, so, yeah, yeah, so. so. <laughs> let me let me put this out. Yeah. We went, um, I, I, we went camping, and, um. Went to the uh, shower house in the morning, and um, there were guys that were going hiking, and they literally were standing in the in the shower house, 
charging their phones <laughs> because <laughs> they had nothing else to charge them with. And it's just like, you know, I mean, like, there are so many options to charge your phone than just standing in the shower house was theirs. <laughs> so, That's funny. Maybe maybe if they had the bio light fire pit with the energy bundle, uh, yeah, you know. I think they're doing it wrong. That's exactly what I think. <laughs> so, uh, so speaking of like camping and stuff, so so we were at Home Depot today. Uh, um, I told you about it earlier. So I, w- I went to Home Depot today, and it was supposed to be a little trip turned into something major, and we ended up leaving without getting what we needed. So I went with my daughter. We go to Home Depot. We're, we're walking in, and I see uh, like they're set up obviously doing something, but in front of them they have a bunch of advertisements for um, service to your AC units or AC install or – like parts replacement it's a, it's a bunch of stuff and then there's like there's literature like there's pamphlets and then like a actual unit to like look at and then behind that there's people working and then you get closer and you can obviously see that they're cooking something and then you know you get closer and you can see what they're cooking so they're cooking a hot dogs and 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 people come up you know there's a hot dog and they go in the store or whatever and uh you know and then and that's um well, well, I'll keep going with this. I told you this earlier as well. But so we go by and I'm looking, but I'm reading the literature like AC stuff, right? Like, like I'm looking at that stuff because that's that's pretty important, especially where I live. It's pretty important to have a good AC unit and make sure it's going to work and work well. And so I'm just like kind of reading and she kind of thinks I'm looking at her. And so I'm walking uh-huh. past looking at the, reading the stuff with my daughter. You know, I'm holding her hand. I'm holding Zoe's hand. We're walking in looking reading she's like oh hey sir do you want a hot dog and they're they're making hot dogs i said uh no no i'm good thanks and she said well they're free and i still said nope i'm still good i don't i don't want a hot dog i know hot dogs are good and a lot of people like them but i don't like them you know i eat a hot dog now and that doesn't make me feel so good so i don't eat them we don't eat hot dogs here and i'm not saying oh, anything no. bad about hot dogs so and and Zoe, you know, my daughter, she didn't even hear it. Like she, we just kept on walking. But I'm like, no, I turned down free hot dogs. Like I don't want it. And uh, so we go in, and then we get I get home and I explain it to her, and she goes, I wanted a hot dog. And I'm like, you know oh what, honey? God. Like you know, you, you know, right now you you're you're two. We we uh, um we 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 uh you know we're not gonna eat hot dogs like we don't eat hot dogs as a meal like you know so i say like hot dogs are kind of like a novelty like food uh, you know in our home this is what we're gonna do with them like hot dogs are perfect like if you go to a sporting event you're watching something and you eat like if you go to a ball game or a soccer game you want to buy a hot dog like that is perfect right and i said it's kind of like when we watch a movie popcorn is like our food to watch a movie with right it's kind of like that like you don't just eat popcorn at 11 30 on you know a tuesday after you know morning like you just don't do that like you eat popcorn when you're watching a movie or sitting on the couch you know what i mean i disagree with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> i like popcorn i'm starting to love popcorn a lot don't get me wrong you have you have you you have started this and it's this thing now in this in our house like you have started it but Still, like, you know, we, we still don't just eat it whenever. Like, I don't just make it whenever. We make it when we're going to sit down and eat it. You know, if you're going to be out running around, we're not making popcorn. I'm sure you don't either. I, I, no, no. I stand in the kitchen and I go, I think I want popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you're like, you want popcorn. Like, it's it's at night, right? Like, you guys maybe are sitting down <sighs> watching – um, you know, after yeah, you get so home from work, you know, times. you're not at work thinking, like, man, I need some popcorn. Like – um if i had a pop do i have okay i've took popcorn to work with me yeah so i can say that i was ready to eat popcorn at lunch well, see, so the difference is is you've and i told people about popcorn like i like to make my own popcorn season it myself right so like i do it yeah. legit like you do now and so the difference would be like if you're like out right you're you're gonna want popcorn. You 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 know you're almost a, like a popcorn snob now, kind of like our beers. Popcorn right? in the bag doesn't do it for me anymore. <laughs> right? No, and that's what I'm saying. So so we had somebody pop it um, at the soccer game the other night, and and Zoe and I got popcorn. It's just like over butter. Like it's just this is not so good. Like, and I'm like yeah. I like crumpled up like, like half camping. the bag, and I'm like Zoe, we're done. We ate it all. Like and threw it away. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'll make you good stuff tomorrow. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. But I didn't tell her that. Oh, I shouldn't say I lied. I didn't lie. I just said we're done. <laughs> <laughs> We're done with this. She didn't like it. Like she's looking at her hands, and it's just like her hands are covered. She's like, "What is that?" And we're like, "Don't touch your clothes. You'll ruin all of your clothes. Just do oh not." Oh my gosh! You know, it was like that. Here's so, a wipey. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we had the stroller right next to us, but um, but like you know, so that's what like a hot dog is. You know, it's like a, like a novelty. You gotta. I'm sorry. I gotta plug in here. I'm gonna run out of battery. All right, so let's just scroll through here. We've got this another another article. Uh, we'll let we'll let um, we'll let Alex get his. He's gonna get plugged in here. He's gotta get some juice, get some power. So this is uh, um, uh, another article we saw today, and we figured it's it's great. It's gonna be great to talk about. It's the twenty five. The article here. Let me go to my screen. It's the twenty five beers you need to try before you die and uh this is uh this is an article on uh gearpatrol.com uh it was posted the 24th of this month uh may so may 24th 2019 and beers need to try or beers to try before you die is the article and i haven't looked through it i think uh i think alex glanced through it a little bit so when he gets back we'll uh we'll definitely see but um, it's got 25 beers, and it's I don't it doesn't look like it's ranked. So let's just kind of scroll through here. It doesn't look like oh this one's better than the other. It just kind of puts them in a list. So it might be worth we'll just scroll through. We'll see we'll get our thoughts and see if we've tried any of these. I'm I I'm not sure. My guess is I've not tried any of these. Uh, not sure if Alex has or not. But it's it's worth us you know trying trying to go through all right, all, right, you back? Back. all right so i was just talking about the we we'll jumped right into the 25 beers you need to try before you die <laughs> which is a pretty like uh, it's a pretty clickbait article honestly like you see that article and you like beers you're gonna click on it it just gives you like ooh. yeah that's so clickbaity like we should just write articles that are clickbaity i think we could get a lot of clicks Anyways, <laughs> I think I was saying, I think you scroll through this and look through a little bit. I haven't looked through a single one except for now. Most of the bottles I can't even pronounce. Yeah. Okay. So I said, I doubt I've tried any of these and, and I thought you scrolled through them. So, so I uh, got my screen up on full screen here on, you know, looking at this article. Um, so this one, uh, yeah, that looks, uh, Style, I don't even know the first There's one. There's a, a Goose Island. Belgian. Let's go on. The, the Alchemist. Okay, so have you had anything by The Alchemist? I haven't got there yet. It's the second one. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I can't type. The Alchemist Breweries. Have I had any of their stuff? You know what? I don't oh, so. have. I don't know if I've had any of their stuff or not. I don't think I've had it. Um, so they, this one here is a uh, um, double IPA. It's eight percent, which is I think over your limit. I can't remember. And yeah, like it. it um, I will drink an eight percent, but uh, more than likely, I try to stick around seven. Okay, so this is Stowe. Is that Vermont? I don't know. My is it VT? I think that's Vermont. Um, I've not tried that. I, I want to say the alchemist sounds familiar. I just tried to look and I don't know, like without knowing the beer names, I don't know if I've tried it. So we'll scroll down. I've got, there's a, the Allagash white and it's a wit beer. So that's a, that's a, it's like a white weedy beer. Is that right? I think so. Usually. Um, oh, Sierra Nevada pale ale. I've had this one. Is that on the list? It is. Wow. And there's a Pilsner. This next one is a Pilsner, and I do not like Pilsners. If you like Pilsners, go. You know, all you know, everybody likes their own stuff. We can agree to disagree. I don't like Pilsners. I just don't. I'm not a big fan. And then here we go. Another one on the list is the Hefeweizen. That's just gonna turn me away, man. I've tried a fresh Hefeweizen instead of Shotgun Betty. Shotgun Betty was terrible. I don't like it personally, but 
<clears throat> I have tried a better Hefeweizen, but it's not something I can have more than like half of a beer, you know, like six ounces. I can try half a beer and be fine. Like just a taste would be fine. Um, here's another Pilsner. Right, all the way down the bottom. I don't know if, if it, I think it's an ad. If it is an ad, then it might be different. But for mine, it says um, nine solid IPAs you can buy with your local grocery store or at your local grocery store. Oh, okay. I've had I've had the Voodoo. I've had Torpedo. I've had yeah, uh, that's going to be a different the double IPA. I've had the All Day IPA. I've had Stone's IPA, and I've had Lagani's IPA. Oh, nice. All in the picture. <laughs> But there's one that's behind the torpedo that I can't read. Yeah, we'll scroll through that. Maybe we'll go to that one next. So this one's Bottle Logic Fundamental Observation at Imperial Stout. Now, that's a 13.2%. That's going to be way out of you. That's Anaheim, out of Anaheim, California. I had not had this based on my memory. After you drank one? I don't think, it, I don't think I've had one. But this sounds like... This honestly sounds like something I really want. So here, let me, uh, I can't even copy this. Let me put Learn this right, here. right into uh, untapped, and I have not had this. So what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to, you know, I don't know how to do this on computer. Um, <laughs> Control C. Uh, check this beer for later. Add to list. Here we go. Add to list. Wish list. So I just put it to my wish list. I definitely want to try this beer. It looks good. Imperial Stout, thirteen percent. Like that's a good. That's a good beer. Belgian style pale ale. So Belgian style, if I'm not mistaken, is more of like a multi wheaty style, right? Mostly. I don't know. I don't drink them a whole lot. Uh, yeah, me either. Belgian, another Belgian. A saison. Uh, I don't know how into those I am either. Maybe maybe we should do the study of Another different season. beers. Different beers, yeah, we could do that. I, you know, what? I, I, I got That's into beers one. and I started like I like these couple beers. I'm going to stick with these couple beers and try, you know, a new thing every time I try one. But here, here's a red. So that a red. What's a red? That's like I don't even know. I don't know what a red is. Is that like some sort of fruit? Maybe. A Flanders red style. Wow. There's a lot about beers I need to learn. There's another one, two back to back. Here's a pale ale. This is a uh, Daisy Cutter Half Acre <laughs> out of Chicago. Uh, and then there, yeah, your Goose Island Bourbon Country brand stout. 15.2%. You've not had that? No. It's your favorite. I would, I would, uh, I'd be glued to a toilet. <laughs> Here it is right there. Man, dude, a lot of people like it on Untapped. It's got 4,404 reviews, and it is four and a half stars or four and a half whatever they are. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude, that's a good that's a good beer. I'll add it to my wish list. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, something I want to get to. Hills Citra. It says it's a benchmark for what a barrel aged stout can be. Do you like barrel aged stuff? I think we talked about this before. I don't I like barrel if we did aged, age, but I not. can't drink stouts. Okay, see, I don't like barrel aged, and I love stouts. So if you can mm -hmm. get a good barrel aged, I can drink it, but we'll see. I would try that. You know, that'd be a beer I would try. And then if I cracked something open like that, I would have to finish it. Here's an IPA, the Citra IPA. They're out of Vermont as well. That's two breweries out of Vermont. Another one out of Table Beer. What's a Table Beer? Jester King La Petite Prince uh, Table Beer. 2.9% out of Austin, Texas. That's water. <laughs> that's worse than Mick Ultra. Um, that's, that's, just, that's just Texas's O'Doyles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imperial um, Milk Porter. Cane Brewing Mexican Brunch, um, Dorada Ocean, New Jersey. Man, there's a lot here. Another Imperial mm -hmm. Stout out of St. Louis. Um, another Saison. That, like again, I'm not into the Saison. And uh, what's the Saison? You know what? I don't know. I just don't know. I'm not super like against them. If I see them, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'll try that. You know, but I think it's. Um, 
Man, I don't know. I think it's like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they may be like more acidic, more fruity than than other beers. And you know, with me, I can't drink like very sweet, fruity alcohol, so I st- usually stay away from those. Generally, especially with mixed drinks too. Uh, so there's just a few saisons on here, and then yeah, here's, I got to this the Pale Ale Sierra Nevada, which I agree with. The Pale Ale Sierra Nevada is amazing, but I do like it. You really have to try it on tap. We have to we have to try to go to Asheville sometime together. Oh man! And just go do some breweries. You know, go there, spend a couple days, just go 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 try a few beers at a few breweries, and just have some fun. Uh, not to mention. That would be more of a location I think you or like Gary would even like to go to. Yeah. It's in the mountains, dude. You're in the mountains of Asheville. The mountains are awesome for people who like the mountains. So, so we should go. Can we take a camper? Sure. That would be the best place to take a camper. <laughs> Gary would be like, all right, guys, I'll be in the tent. <laughs> like he's enticing us. Like, hey, there's always room. Yeah, okay. <laughs> be in the camper with the xbox on <laughs> so the uh so i'm down in the picture that you were looking at and i see two beers in um i don't know what those are called steins i don't know what those are called at all uh the glasses i don't know what mm-hmm. those are and then you see a voodoo ranger torpedo sierra nevada um another one that looks like hopium um another one looks like all day ipa oh it is all day Wait, IPA. hopium isn't is it the dogfish double ipa i don't know let me look it up it looks like hopium no it's a 60 minute yeah the 60 minute ipa you i'm screen sharing with you does that not look like that logo it does i don't know if it is yeah that's it that's definitely it <laughs> so that's the 60 minute yo let's see the dogfish hit i didn't even notice that up top that's a dogfish head right there. So that's got the dogfish head logo up top. That That is a dogfish head double IPA, 60-minute IPA. Um, the next one's an IPA all day, Saison. By Founders. Oh. Ale, yeah, the Founders Ale and Stone. And then the other one looks like the – you said the – I can't say that. The, the one behind the torpedo. One behind the torpedo. Yeah, count bottleneck. Yeah. This one. You can see my no. screen, right? Yeah, that's the Dogfish Head 60-minute IPA. Okay, move to the left. Left. Okay, what's that? Torpedo. Now move straight up. And see the... Oh, the you can't see anything. Mm. I didn't even notice that was there. Let's click on the article. <laughs> So the Voodoo Ranger, have you had that? Or that's not one you have. That's not yeah, the one I've had, I've had, had the that? New Belgium Voodoo Ranger. Because you like they, the gluten-free one that they make. New Belgium, right? Oh, what is it? It's something gluten-free. It's probably the only one they make. But that's the one you like. And then they got the Torpedo IPA. Now, I will say the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is a good pale ale. I, I think the Celebration Ale is probably my favorite Sierra Nevada beer ever, by the way. Um, so then there's the 60 minute Ever? dogfish head. Yep. Oh, dude, these are all mine. Look at this. All 6%, <laughs> 7%, 7, 2, 6%, 4.7. The founders all day. I've had that. Yep. That's a good beer. Stone uh, the stone, is so good. I like the stone. That's it's usually a go-to IPA. Yeah. It's a good beer. Um, and then the Laguanitas. I hope I said that right. I usually butcher that. I don't know if I've had Laguanitas. that, but I've seen it for sure. Um, I've had Laguanitas. That's a ballast IPA. point. Sculpin IPA. That's one of my go-tos. That must be what was behind the one. Yeah, okay. Sculpin IPA. If you had that? Ballast point Sculpin. Have you had that one? I have not. Oh my gosh. Really? Nope. That is one of my go-to IPAs. Try it. And it's good. It's not that. It's 7%, so it's it's right there at your limit. You're good. Have you had Bell's Two-Headed Ale? Yes. Yes, I have. I, I can't actually. I don't remember. I think I've had it, but I've stayed away from it. Yeah. Anything that has a dead fish on it, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna look this up. So what was that next one? That is a it's dirt wolf. Dirt wolf. Yeah. <laughs> By victory. Let's see if I've had that. I can't tell if I've had that here. I may have to start searching on my phone. Um, my phone. Uh, at least I know it better on my phone. I've not had do dirt I, wolf. I do like. Um, I've had the bell stone so, IPA. Yeah. Stone IPA is a good one, man. That's 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 definitely a good beer. It's a good go-to beer for me. Um, it is very hoppy compared to all the other ones I think on this list that I've had. Mm -hmm. I think it's more hoppy. It's got more of that kick bitter taste to it, which you used to translate into a, um, a no, grapefruit they, it, taste. You used to tell me it was grapefruit. It is a grapefruit taste. <laughs> and that's no just the hops. No, it's just the hops. No, some They're not brew, brewed with grapefruit. Some of them are, though, but not, not really? most of them. It's just the Hold hoppy on, let, me see the, let me show you a grapefruit IPA. Yeah, some of them make it. I, I've, I've not actually... Uh, personally, you know, I don't know grapefruit, so it's not like it's something I like or love or hate or blah 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 <laughs> blah. But um, I do uh, I do very much enjoy an IPA, and and some people have said that it just comes off as a grapefruity taste, which I can't con you know, everybody tastes something different, but I can't say that I've tasted that. I also don't eat grapefruit, so. Not, I'll mail you some. not something that just like jumps to my attention. All right. Um, do you want to jump into, you want to be done with these beers and jump into the console wars? Yeah. <clears throat> I know you were looking up some grapefruit, something you can send that to me. I'll put it up here. Grapefruit beer. I've had grapefruit beer and I've actually liked it. Yeah, send me, send me one. We'll put it up here. We'll, we'll, we'll suggest uh -oh. it. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll let people think. I'll start talking here though. Um, so the Xbox, uh, two, we've we've briefly touched on it. I think we've had one episode or so that briefly touched on it. the Xbox two is called currently just like Xbox Scarlet, um, and 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 this article here that I'm looking at. Uh, it's just the one I've searched for just says that Microsoft is looking to win the race or at least, yeah, the, the out the gates race or outsell, you know, PlayStation, the PS, the PS five. Now they're both going to be coming out around the same time. So my thoughts on the Xbox one and the PlayStation four, when they were coming out was man, just, just based on what I saw back then, you know, years ago now, um i wasn't super following at all like i am now like i kind of follow a little bit of everything because it kind of just shows up on my feed it just kind of forces itself to me so i wasn't um fully into it as i am now and from back then i just it just felt very much like xbox was rushing like playstation had a plan we're yeah. gonna release in this date and you know, blah, blah, blah. Xbox may have even hinted at releasing later. And then all of a sudden, like, PlayStation's like, yeah, well, like, look at this. We're pretty polished. We're definitely coming out here. We're strong. We're, we're, uh, um, w confident in our product. And then, and then Xbox kind of was like, well, we're releasing her at the same time, too. And, or days before, actually. And we're going to be ready. And it just felt rushed. It felt fast. It felt not so good. And they had a lot of issues. Like with children story. fighting. Yeah, exactly. Right. And it, and it felt like, the, it seemed like to me like they had a lot of issues at the beginning. And I think that's uh, that's true. You know, they, the one of their one of their first games that they released to kind of sell it was the Halo Master Chief Collection, which had all sorts of problems. Because that was uh four yeah four games under the same ui yeah and four different developers creating it did you know that i didn't know it was four different ones. so each like each one was like its own developer so that causes it's all of its problems crashed. so four developers making four different games to go under one ui and there was no communication 
So like none of them were working together to like make this work under one UI. And then they all had to deal with Microsoft because it's a Microsoft thing. And, and it just, it was a fucking mess. And that game made me cringe in the worst way because I love it. I still Halo. liked it. It was, it's all right. I, I mean, it, but I've heard now it's better. So we should try to get everybody together and play it for real. Like we should try and, and play it and get, you know, get some old school games together. You know, we can throw in some stuff and do some of our old school games and be, you know, it'd be a lot of fun. Zombies. How like, do you think the patch will be? To download it now. Like, I think I've been updating every update, so, but like I've updated it since, days. but yeah, it was ridiculous. But I've heard it's really good. We should definitely do that. But that was just felt like the overall thing for Xbox. And then now, you know, fast forward, what's it been, like six years later, whatever, set, uh, five years later. Oh, no. Five, six years later. Fast forward to now, and now we know, you know, PlayStation 4 had a lot more exclusives. Uh, Xbox had next to none, if they had any that I can think of. I can't think of any exclusives they had. Um. Man, I don't even know. Honestly, off the top of my head, I don't know what exclusive they have. And exclusives are the way to win a console war. Like, you want to make a, a developer, you know, pledge exclusively for your console, and that's going to make people buy your console. Like, you know, I want this game so bad, I'll spend the extra 400 bucks to buy your console and that game. Like, that's a good way to do it. You know, that's just smart marketing if you can get exclusives. And Xbox has had none playstations had a dozen or more and and it's just been it's just been not so good for <laughs> xbox but xbox has started they've learned from it and and so this article says that um uh xbox could outsell playstation because of this special feature so let's scroll down and we'll see what this is um so the obviously the playstation and microsoft are the yeah, they say the Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed of the gaming world, which I agree. And that's been since 2000, and that's true, right? So you got those two have been the main race. You know, you got the the Switch and all of the Nintendo stuff, which is fantastic. They've done, they've done great, and they're done well enough for themselves to keep going, which I'm happy for. But they they're almost marketing for a different type of thing. It's like it's it's almost separate and something that can't be caught. Um, but uh. So, oh, so that's it. So this is it right here. Um, I've seen this. So this picture that I got on screen right now, uh, I think I've sent you the link for this. Um, so the PlayStation 5 versus um, the Xbox devices are expected to bring their own secret weapons. Rumors, the PlayStation 5 chipset and, uh, and recent patents suggest that Sony's new release could be game changing in, in VR stuff because we know that the Sony right now does VR stuff. And and to be honest, right now, um if you want um if you want VR and you don't have a good PC to run good VR, a phone's not gonna do it. So if you want VR, good VR, and you don't have a good PC to do it, phone's not gonna do it again. PlayStation's the best VR you can get. It's a, a VR runs on a console. It runs on some good stuff, and you you absolutely need like something to run your VR. And since your phone doesn't run much, you know it can barely handle its own sort of games of or whatever. Um, you usually don't know much about VR. Yeah, it, well, it's a game. It's its own console. It's its own game. So you need a platform to host it, to run it, right? good graphic card good everything and playstation is the probably the absolute best cheapest vr system you can get right you could and people say you do your phone and that's great you want to do like these little haunted house things or whatever <clears throat> but like playstation is probably pretty good and it and it also incorporates like a community which is good i do like their vr system so they're going to up their vr side note i got this grapefruit beer Right, you just sent it to me. Yeah, so let me let me I give you this. This is like the links I was following. This it's a, it's clickbait, but uh, it does have grapefruit beers, and there is I had. They're all like, Hefweizens. They are. I don't like Hefweizens. So, so you like Hefweizens? 
Have you tried Hefeweizens? <clears throat> no. They're there's... like weedy. Like, dude, dude, it still feels like there's the fruit or the stuff inside that beer. Right there. Yeah, Lone mine. Rider. They make Shotgun Betty. I hate it. I hate it. Is that on this list? Oh, my gosh. It's terrible. You <laughs> Have you not tried Hefeweizen? You would love Hefeweizens. I, I probably wait. I may have. We'll get you some Hefeweizens. I don't like Hefeweizens. That's funny. Grapefruit beers, Hefeweizens, Grapefruit Shandy, uh, Lina Kugels. I've had that. Okay. Oh, I have to put an age in. Screw you guys. I'm 21. <laughs> yeah, and dude, it kept happening. Back up. Me, like, I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm not. No, going, I'm... I'm not going to your site. We're going back to this. <laughs> like, going... Oh my gosh. Oh, I sent you the Google link. Yeah. Oh, did you oh, have a different I'm one? Such a turd. Hold on a minute. All right, we'll keep talking. Um, this, it's supposed to be this one. Okay. Yeah, I'll pull it up. So we'll keep talking. So anyways, so PlayStation says right here, PlayStation's big secret weapon is updated. Uh, not updated. I'm I'm very sorry. Not updated. Um, good uh, VR. It's going to be a better <laughs> VR system. Oh, that's the one I was on. Yeah, I found that link. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the one I was trying to send, but it's it's oh, like yeah, you're like, good. Yeah, that's like the one I found. Through. So, so this was the link that I found. The best gr- grapefruit, nine best grapefruit beers is what he tried to send me, and that's that's what I actually found naturally. So, you know, great minds think alike. Exactly. Great, great minds. I'll emphasize. No. Great minds. Start drinking. The best. Not even great. Not even great. It's better. It's the best. <laughs> the best. The best of all time. We're not the we're not the greatest. We're the best. Just the best, greatest, best you minds. Drink too much. <laughs> so um, start the gallery. Oh my Ballast God. Point makes one. I'd try that. Um, an Alaskan beer. I'd try it. I'd try, I would try all of these. Try great them all. Goods. If we if we were somewhere and we could sit down, and they're like. We have nine grapefruit beers. Would you like a flight? I'd be like, ah, eh, what the heck? Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> the Lone Rider, though, the Sundance Lone Rider. Uh, nope, I would not try that. I'm sorry. I just I had a bad thing with the Lone Rider stuff. I would try it. I'd taste it. I would not want my own beer, though. Sierra Nevada makes one, and that's an ale, so that would be okay. I'd try that. That's an ale. Um, the Hook Grapefruit Saison IPA. I would try that. Uh, Star Hill Brewing. Um, Victory makes one. It's uh, what's that say? Uh, a gave. Uh, aug- I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, I'm not gonna embarrass myself too much. Um, it's just the, an IPA. the guy looks. I would try that. Like I look at that beer and I'm like, you know what? You and I have something in common. I'm gonna drink this. I would try that. Yeah. And then the next one is uh, St- Stiegel Ra- Raider R- Radler, grapefruit. Um, doesn't even. Say that one I've had. That 2%. one. Two percent. Good beer, yeah. Is it? Oh yeah, it is a four and a half percent. <laughs> so I'd try it, you know, whatever. Why does it say goose style? What uh, is it? What makes a goose style? I have no idea. No clue at all. Did you see that? It's a goose style ale. No. It's a GSA. My new favorite beer. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Which one? Sierra Nevada's, um, oh. yeah, Ortovaz. Sierra Nevada, let me get to it. I did not see that one, no. First Six of nine. Definitely saw that one. Hmm. I think that's ghost. Pickerly. It's got to be so. Pearl cactus fruit and dried grapefruit peels. Both uh, produce sort of melon like sweetness to this. It's a sour. Oh. That's funny. I've not heard that. I'm looking how to pronounce that because I think it's German. I need I need a I need a Google pronounced thing. It's just uh, uh, do, go- do you have do you have a Microsoft Sam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, typically you could do that on Google, man. It's just not working right now. Uh, 
I, um, yeah, it's just not working. Oh, okay, so uh, with emphasize the O and the E making a uh, so it's like Goza, Goza. Here, let me send this to you. It's goes goes a goes a beer. It's German. It's a German word. It's still goose to me. <laughs> we'll never <laughs> understand it. It's German. Um, the emphasis on the O and the E making an uh sound. So it sounds like mm -hmm. gosa gosa. I'm still hearing goose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is a bit of an oddly in the beer world. Okay, it's well, from ghost beer. Yeah, that's that's ghost the Okay, there it is. I think that's right. I'm I'm not. I don't know my German. You know what? I know. Uh, I do. We do have a friend who's from Germany. I'll have to ask her. Next time I see her. What I does hope, this I say? Forget goose. <laughs> what is this? You're word? missing an O. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're you're missing a no, and then uh, this is. You wrote this, your daughter. <laughs> we don't know. I no, don't it's know. German. Oh. Oh, it says the origin is tied here. Let me go to my screen. The origin is tied to Go Goslar, a town in eastern Germany, where the beer was named for the town or the, of the, of the river, river, the flowing river, whatever. The ghosts of river uh, through the town is unclear. But the it was named it was named after that that river river huh that's interesting um you know what i i am gonna ask her i uh i'm gonna try to see maybe i'll try to find out tomorrow to be honest and that'll be a good update well i have homework i have homework to do <laughs> <laughs> i have homework to do it's memorial day so everybody's gonna be you know free this weekend i'm gonna try to find that out because that's that's interesting to me yeah i i don't know that's interesting that's cool look at that that's pretty cool. See, see, like we don't know what's gonna happen in this episode. Every day. It's gonna be amazing. All right, so we're back to this. So VR is Sony's big thing. All right, uh, good, good for them. And Microsoft's big trick is: have you known this? I think I've brought this up to you, but it's going to be um, X Cloud. Really? Yeah. So what that means? I'm gonna send this to you again. I think I sent it to you already, but I'm gonna send it to you again. The X Cloud is uh, it's a streaming service that lets lets you play any title you want. You don't have to download your game. So you remember how I talked to you about that? Oh, we did talk about that mm -hmm. with all the um, if because uh, we were talking about the Xbox going um, with no disc, mm -hmm. and then you could turn all your old discs in for new games. Right. So that the difference is that right now, and that's the, what you saw was an Xbox um, One. That was an Xbox mm -hmm. One S. That's not a new Xbox. That's an oh, Xbox that's One the, S um, redesigned with no disk drive, which is good because you don't have to power a stupid disk drive. You just play, right? So it's like your phone, um, yeah. like my computer, and uh, like exactly. your like your computer. And um, you have to you have to buy a disk drive separate. <laughs> I don't know if it would drive. work, <laughs> like but. Power. So what this is doing, though, this is saving all of your games on the cloud. You don't have to download that 70-gig game, that 50-gig game. You legitimately play it like you're watching a Netflix video. What happens if, if the power goes out? On their servers, you're fucked. <laughs> like... So if power like, goes out in California where they're hosting all these servers, you're fucked. Yes. Screwed. Yeah, you like, are fucked. Like, you cannot you play. Can't. But you can play them anywhere, which means you can play them on the picture below. Let me put it up here. The picture below is you hooking a an Xbox controller up to your phone on a little thing. Hold your phone above you, above the mm, controller. Nice. And you, you play on your phone. And Steam is doing this too, so I can do this like right. I can currently do this with my Steam games on my. Yeah, phone but the only problem that you have network. is that you have um, the uh, the Pixel Three, so you'll never be able to play anything. <laughs> well, I can I can do it right now on Steam, so I can play my Steam games 
with Steam Link or something like that. So, but Microsoft is going to do this, and that's going to be groundbreaking for console. That's going to be the truly first groundbreaking move for console in a while, right? I think VR is awesome. I think PlayStation has it. Like, Sony's got it. Like, VR for a console is amazing. I think they're doing a really good job, but it's not groundbreaking because they've already done it. They're just making it better. Dude, how, what are games going to be like in 20 years? 20 years? I mean, it's just going to be you play a game. It's going to be quick. You play a game, you're done. You know, you like you don't have to load it. It's not, it's not you know, it's not, you don't worry about purchases. It's going to be like subscription-based. It's going to be Netflix. 20 years from now, games mm-hmm. are going to be like Netflix. Literally. Subscription-based, like the Xbox is doing currently because they have that. <clears throat> It's that's what it's gonna be like. You play any, you know, all you play these certain games by playing Ready this. Ready Player One. No, not in, uh, no. That's not gonna happen in a long time. <laughs> we are not even close to that. Not even close to that. I and, and technology, you know, you know, I I can't say that. You said in twenty years, technology grows so fast. I can't say what's gonna happen in twenty years, but that is likely not gonna happen in twenty years, based on my guess. Be cool though. You know what? You We're not what? even close to that. We're... In 20 years, you can buy me a beer when I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a thousand beers enough. if you're right. A, a thousand <laughs> beers. Book it right now. Book it. Done. A, a thousand beers? A thousand beers. If Ready Player One is a reality in 20 years, <laughs> 2029, oh no, 2039. 2039. I will buy you a thousand beers. Done. Somehow, somehow, I think I'll have a... Uh, It'll be a payment plan. Like, you don't get a thousand at once. <laughs> they go bad anyways, so just help my pockets out. <laughs> oh my if I buy you a thousand beers, they're going to go bad before you're drinking them all. So just help my pockets out. I'll buy you, like, a hundred at a time. Like, like, uh, no, 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 no. You have to drink it all in one sitting. <laughs> you have to drink a thousand beers right now. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> we'll see you on the other end of this, which is obviously yeah. not alive. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So that being said, uh, so let's let's cycle all the way back to the beginning. I don't know if I yeah. said this, but back to the beginning. So being dead and talking to you being dead, I was in Home Depot and I noticed everybody and I, um. Everybody was buying flags, American flags, country, our country's flag. And I, my first thought, genuine first thought, I'm walking through Home Depot this morning was, man, 4th of July, Independence Day is not for another, you know, two months. Like, what, what, what a month, you know, a month and a half. What, what What's going on? Like, maybe there's some sales crazy. on some flags. People have got them on their, like, windows, like on their cars, you know? And, and, uh. I'm like, man, what's going on? Like, there must be some good deals. People are getting ready for, you know, summer, getting ready for Independence Day. And then I get home, and it didn't click to me until I got home. I was like, oh, shit, it's Memorial Day weekend. Like, <laughs> did not even click to me. Like, people are buying flags, you know. For all, parades. And I'm like, oh, for their my houses. God. What's going on? And it didn't, it didn't even click. So then I, I mentioned, I'm like, so we have, like, three holidays that we celebrate our flag and you know our <coughs> troops and stuff you know and and you know i said okay so like this one is you know and i i mentioned it to like okay so this one is uh and i said it differently i said it wrong it came across not how i wanted to to my wife but i said so what are we honoring in memorial day is it or no no okay i didn't say that don't no, no i didn't say that rewind <laughs> go back um i said is, is memorial day yeah, you should see my hands i was waving them back and forth um <laughs> is memorial day do we honor all um all military personnel on memorial day and my wife said like and i was i was along the lines of like do we honor like like everybody like you're in right now you know you mm-hmm. did like just kind of like a so serving and those who are not serving. right 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 and she said no memorial day is honoring the um um the military like the people who have died for our country people who have died in service that's what memorial day is it's to remember the people who have died for our country 
And I said, okay. And then she said, you know, Veterans Day is the one to uh, remember all, you know, the people who have that are still alive. retired that are still alive. Yeah. So, so that's the difference. And I said, okay. And then she, she, she put it exactly like this. So you wish Gary a happy Veterans Day. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's not Memorial Day. And then I instantly thought of the comedic end of that. And I was like, I'm going to this Memorial Day instantly say happy Memorial Day, Gary. <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> With the implication, like, 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 you've died for our country. Thank you, buddy, who is still alive. I think that's hilarious. And it brought great joy to my heart at that moment. <laughs> Did you send it? Uh, no, it's not Memorial Day yet. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to happen, yes. I think it's still funny. What? Like, if you, like if happy you would Memorial Day, shot, Gary. Thanks for dying would just for us. Shot his response and send it to me. I'd appreciate that. I'll put it in Discord. It like, It'll be for everybody. Are you kidding me? Or are you serious? <laughs> just like, yeah, I should do it like solo. Just because it's like, it'll be raw. It'll be like him talking to me. You know, like he won't have like any sort of like, oh, somebody else is listening into that. You know, yeah, that'll be funny. I'll just text him oh, directly. Like, happy way. Memorial Day, bud. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll thank him. I think that'll be hilarious. I hope he's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to hold on putting this on YouTube so he doesn't see it. <laughs> Uh, that that yeah. just brought me so much joy just being like i i want to thank you know our best friend veteran for memorial day <laughs> oh that was hilarious uh, too funny man. Oh, man all right so we are at like an hour you want to end this here yeah i think it's probably a good time to end it we've talked about a bunch of stuff we wanted to we did we went over a lot of stuff it was fun yeah i think we got Felt over good. everything that was in our title too so that's that's what matters we're not disappointing anybody. Covering the gaps. <laughs> right. Over overall, um, here's here's one. Uh, do you think? Do you really think that Xbox will um, leap over PS5? I think they. Uh, yeah, man, it's looking better. Like, so. Again, back I, back. I, to the, I, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go. Back I asked you the question initially. Back to the race of Xbox One and PlayStation 4, I thought, like, PlayStation had the plan. They're like, we're going to release here. And then all of a sudden, Xbox is like, oh, we are too. Um, mm -hmm. This one's feeling more like that. This one is feeling more like Xbox has this plan and PlayStation has been like, oh, we are too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, that's what gets me worried. So even now we're two, we're you know not two years, but we're a year and a half removed from both of these coming out. A lot can happen. A lot can change in a year and a half, but it yeah. still feels like that. It still feels like Xbox has been talking about this Xbox Scarlet, you know, uh, X Cloud, like mm -hmm. cloud based gaming, and you know, taking something to the next level, doing something different. And uh, PlayStation has only come out with. We're going to be better at our VR, which is great. I'm not saying it's bad, but it just seems like having the X Cloud, having that is going to probably push to get you better it's gonna be exclusives. Whole different level. Well, it's going to get you better exclusives. And if people want to be exclusive on your cloud based gaming, because it's cloud based and then people can play on their phones like they saw that picture of and, and blah, blah, blah just the yeah. ease of having cloud-based anything, um, you want the exclusives. You want devs to be full in on your console, not just, ah, eh, whatever. You know? mm -hmm. Like Spider-Man. The Spider-Man, you know, that's the one of the biggest, I think, exclusives that Sony had uh, currently. What about God of War? God, the, the God of War ones, yeah, yeah, but I mean, but that's that's not uh, that's not that's not PlayStation Four exclusive. That started out PlayStation Two, you know. That's that's old. That's an old series. That's be that'd be like saying Halo. So there, God of War has been equaled out with Halo because yeah. Xbox had Halo. But I'm just talking about PlayStation Four and Xbox One, um, which okay. is the Spider Man, the new Spider Man movie yeah. or game. And and I've not played it because it doesn't come to Xbox. I don't have a PlayStation. Uh, I really want to play it because it's one of the best rated games of our 
you know, the last two years. It's, it's been, it's, it's, everybody says it's really good. Um, it's been the best, but one of my favorite games of all time have been playing the, uh, uh Spider-Man two for PlayStation or I don't remember what console, but it was uh yes, Spider-Man yeah. two. And it was an open world game, man. You slung around New York, slung, swung, around new york with your webs and you did whatever you wanted you wanted to save this person you didn't have to. slum slum I, I said you know i'm beers deep beers and waters i'm on white claw now so i'm beers and waters deep into this tonight so uh, i'm talking a lot and speaking incorrectly that's what i do <laughs> so i think uh i think the x cloud though i think it it will bring exclusives which is going to help xbox i and so i've seen I mean, it's gone back and forth, back and forth. It's hard for me to see PlayStation take a back seat. So I don't know if that's going to happen unless, like, if if PlayStation hasn't shown all their cards yet. Yeah, I mean, it's true. And like I said, we're still a year and a half away. So you're thinking more along the lines of PlayStation's kind of been ahead this generation. Mm-hmm. So they're going to carry yeah. momentum into the next generation, which I th- makes, I think it they makes have sense. some weight pockets. Yeah. So. It makes sense. We'll see. I mean, we still got a year and a half. We'll 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 definitely mm-hmm. be talking about this again. Uh, I'll never change from Xbox because it's I I just have everything hooked up there. I mean, it's just uh, my boy knows the controller. Can't change now. Yeah, I you know I I don't know about fully changing, but you know it's something like and that's the thing. Um, so like a lot of console players. So we were talking about this earlier, like Origin. And there's Origin, there's Steam, there's Uplay, there's uh, Epic Game Store. There's I don't know how many launchers there are on a play or a computer. If you want to play a computer game, you literally have to go to wherever they're launching that game, and it's you have more launchers than fucking games. It feels like. Yeah. PlayStation, you have the PlayStation Store. It's where you get all your games. Xbox, you have the Xbox Microsoft Store. It's where you get all your games, right? Wii, you get the Wii Store, it's where you get all your games. When you get a console, it's where you get all your games. But I never thought about that. Because there's so many, there's going to be so many exclusives, right? So that you want the the Zelda, um, yeah. you want the, the Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, you want the Halo, you want the God of War. You have to buy all three of those consoles now. Like you have to get them all. So now you're playing with three different consoles, and all three of those consoles are coming in at three, four hundred, five, six hundred dollars a piece, depending on which model we get so now you might you, as well buy a pc <laughs> right exactly so then you can buy a pc and then you might be able to emulate them you like you might be able to figure out ways around it so it's like how better is a console if you want to play every game that you want to play you know what i mean mm-hmm. and then it's the same with pc though like pc's got a lot of issues too like there's just there's 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 not one place to just get it all and if you made one place to get it all there'd be no competition and if there's no competition then you're paying you know, you're paying a lot and it makes it tough. So I don't know if there's an answer, but like, that's one thing with PC is people say there's so many launchers, but then I look at it like, well, if you want to play all of these amazing console games, you literally have to have all three consoles. So you're buying yeah. all three consoles anyway. So you have all three consoles as their own launchers anyways. And those aren't cheap, you know, to buy a launcher on or to, to download a launcher on PC is free to download a launcher on a console is to buy a three hundred dollar console, <laughs> you know, at least three hundred dollar console. So we'll see how these games go. We'll see these next generation consoles. Um, I, Nintendo is not going to be, you know, in the race of the best, but they're they have their own niche. Like they've got it and they're nailed it. They're I think yeah, they're nailing it. They're, I, they're doing well so for themselves. Like Nintendo nailed the youth. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's a it's almost like a um. Well. Maybe, yeah, they're going for youth and retro, right? Mm-hmm. So like, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, retro. man, I used to play Zelda. I want to go back and play this new Zelda. You know what I mean? Like, so uh, the newest Zelda I think is called Breath of the Wild, which I have just fully think I got an emulator set up on my computer to start playing. I want to play it on my computer, nice. um, so I don't have to buy a three hundred dollar console to play it on the Wii. Yeah. Plus the fifty dollar game, but or sixty dollar game. I don't even know what it is, but um, Breath of the Wild, a uh, new Zelda game is i've heard the absolute best zelda game you'll ever play i've heard that and i've heard it's just it's just it's so good so we'll see it's incredible. i love zelda zelda was so much fun mm-hmm. I, it was a really good game 
um, I have a GameCube I bought a Zelda game for. And it's right behind me. Um, it it kind of quit working. I don't, know, I don't know what to do to get it fixed, but uh, so I can't finish it. But uh, yeah, Zelda was always fun. Ocarina um, of Time. Um, sounds about right. I might actually hold on a sec. Since you brought up an, it's here. Oh my gosh, I got it right here. Okay. <laughs> You can't see my screen unless you've got the stream pulled up, but I just, out of my drawer, pulled out an ocarina. Can you play? Can you play the uh, the water? Uh, no. Let's see if I can play. Do do. Uh, I used to know the beginning of the Super Mario's theme. <laughs> I got it. Did it? Was that it? Was that it? Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I haven't played that in like seven years. <laughs> this thing has been in this drawer for seven years, and we've moved all over the place. We've just never taken this drawer apart. <laughs> oh my and I gosh. just remembered the beginning of Super Mario Brothers. And I used to know more, but uh, this is the ocarina that I have. And <laughs> because of Zelda, because of childhood Zelda games, I bought a fucking ocarina. Not one that actually is played on the, on the game. I bought one that is easier to play in real life. No, the one in the in the game it's transports big. you places. It's so big. you can buy that real. Well, yeah, well, I'm talking. <laughs> you can actually buy that real ocarina. It's a real musical instrument. But um, I bought it a easier instrument to play in, you know, IRL because I wanted to play it IRL and then I never did. Can you use it while LARPing? <laughs> Probably. Why can't you? <laughs> you can do oh anything while gosh, LARPing. He's using the time. Uh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so there's my ocarina. Wow, uh, that just sparks some memories because of Zelda. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Like that. I just I I literally bought a real life Zelda instrument. Doesn't look like the one in Zelda. Okay, I know, but I wanted to play it. I wanted to learn how to play it. I'm not very good at music, but I can learn how to play something simple. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. I, I, I honestly didn't know if that was in this drawer when I opened it. I said, look, I'm going to open this drawer. I think it's in here. And it was. <laughs> and it just it just worked. That's I have I have a chance for hope. And I, yes, yeah. it's And here. then I had no idea I was going to even come close to remembering how to play that, which is simple. It's super simple. It's like three thumbs, oh, three fingers, two thumbs, two fingers. I don't know. <laughs> How many thumbs do you have? I have I've had a lot of beers and that's what I've had. <laughs> Let me send you three thumbs. <laughs> three thumbs. There you go. Three thumbs up. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's end it there. We played an ocarina. We found an ocarina for seven years old. <laughs> we'll end it there. Good stuff. We got a lot going on. So the future with technology and consoles is looking promising. We'll have a lot of talk. Fun. Yeah. We'll uh you know, we'll we'll switch consoles. We'll all be playing uh, some brand new console that's never even been, a, you know, announced yet. I I doubt that Microsoft and Sony are too far ahead. But we'll uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll be Sony players soon. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. <laughs> but that's gonna be it for now. This uh, this episode we'll include it there. Got everything we want to talk about. Uh, if you like, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks. Thanks again. Yeah, I, look, I wasn't even saying thanks. I was just like, if you liked it, hit thumbs up. Uh, if you see like you the later, episode. Bye. Give us a thumbs up. If you're new uh, on YouTube, hit that sub button, and we're going to keep doing this. Um, if you're live, which I don't know how many people were. It doesn't look like any, but uh, come by. Come by live. We try to do this at least once a weekend because we're busy AF. Yeah. We're AF busy. As fuck <laughs> busy. <laughs> we're busy AF. I just say busy AF. AF busy sounds better, but if you have to say it busy AF because it sounds as, as fuck, so – busy f that's what we are uh we have families and shit to do exactly and meat to smoke and (laughs) briskets to burn (laughs) oh geez all right shit we're done all right if you liked it throw us thumbs up you're new hit that sub button and until next time uh cheers y'all cheers